in the next series of videos, I'm going to be using Facebook's Graph API to search its public posts for, well, whatever the search term is. And what I've done in this example is I've just searched for uh, the query zombies. And what I've got back is a bunch of raw data. It's actually formatted in JSON, which is very nice because I'm going to be using this data to essentially convert it into posh which is plain old semantic HTML and I'm going to do that through JavaScript with um, two key utilities through from jQuery first it's going to be the get JSON function which is going to be the call that I'll get to uh, use to pull the data in and then I'll use each to iterate through each one of these results and actually put them into a format like this so um, this what you see here represents just one entry and there's going to be multiple entries. So let's go through some of the things you're going to need to know to follow along. Uh, first order business is you're going to need to make yourself familiar with um, Facebook's Graph API. And you don't need to get into the nitty gritty details, but at the very least, um, at their main developer page, you, you should see that uh, somewhere down the way it has searching and it'll show you how to format a search query for uh, to pull in results that you want. Now, if you're going to follow along, keep it really simple. Um, first, the first thing you do is actually set up the search, the URL to query it, and then afterwards you could put in certain parameters, like if you want to limit it to events, people, or pages, or a geographical location. All that stuff is doable, but it, it's going to limit the number of results that you're going to get back. So my suggestion is keep it very basic, just like I did over here with um, my search term is just for one word, zombies. Once you have that, we're going to, uh, actually, before we even move on, just so you know what these results represent, if you look at any one of the results, you should see that one of the um, properties it has is ID. Now it's not talking about the ID that's nested inside of from, I'm just talking about the very first ID that the data set has. It just says ID. If you copy this number and uh, in a new tab you go to facebook.com forward slash and then paste in that unique ID, you'll see that this is what you're getting. So this is what we're actually polling for and we're going to be recreating a lot of this uh, in our search result. Um, so that's that's what we're searching through. These are all public posts. Now you need to know, okay, I said the Graph API. The second thing is <clears throat> we're going to be using the jQuery get JSON function. And that's going to be what actually pulls in our information into our page. Now once we have that information in our page, we want to basically convert the JSON data to posh, plain old semantic HTML. And the way I do that is I first start with creating a static HTML uh, model of what I'm going for. And I have it right here and I'll also uh, put a link to it down below. Um, now what I do from here is as I see all the elements that I want in here, I just look at how I could derive them from the data results I have. Now, I did this when I was planning to make these videos. I did this ahead of time. I basically saw all the results. I compared it to an actual uh, public element over here. And I said, hey, I could use all this. This data over here could be used to get all of the elements that I want. And um, so from there, we're going to use jQuery's each. So we're going to have to get JSON, bring in the uh, the data. Then we'll use each to iterate through those results and actually take each one of these elements and pop some HTML on top of them. And the res final result should be a whole bunch of results based on a search query that looks similar to this.